Yo, man, what up, what up, man? Welcome back to another video. We're going to be checking out, man, some... Uh, we're going to be checking out Paul Pogba. So recently, uh, there was um, some breaking news that happened a couple of days ago talking about Paul Pogba and how he has been banned for four years from professional football, man. Paul Pogba, he's like, I think he's 30. Uh, so by the time he's banned, you know... By the time his band ends, he's going to be 34 or close to 35. And um, he is, you know, with so many, so much injuries in his last couple of years. And and I'll tell you, and I'll give you guys my reason at the end of the video of why I think Pac Pogba, uh, you know, did what he did. But let's just check out this little, uh, little history talking about, you know, Pac Pogba and his, the way he started his career. And the unfortunate way that is going to possibly end for Pog Pog, my man. So let's check it out. Couple young kings. Look, 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 man, I'm the one they all fear. Man. Beast. Wow, man. Christ, I feel old. As of the 29th of yeah. February, 2024, Paul Pogba has been officially banned. Here from it is, man. For the next. Wow, man! This what a fucking bro, look at him. He was, bro. He was such a brilliant, brilliant player, bro. The way he played the game was. Look, man. His biggest. I think the his biggest possible regret that he has is coming back to Manchester United, man. Coming back to Manchester United was probably the end of his career, bro, because. He just wasn't the same player that he was when he was at Juventus. You could, you could say that it was United, or you could tell it was you could say it was the league. You know, the Premier League it was just a bit tougher. But there was a lot of moments where um, where Pogba showed his class in the Premier League, but he just wasn't consistent enough, and injuries played a huge part of his downfall. Was the epitome of what was a absolute shining light and a kid that had the entire Damn, world look at, that. at his feet and a perfect example of self-destruction and what we have left is a shame a shame of what a career should have been another Sucks. way to view it is simply a fact of it being deserved if you don't have the mentality the discipline whatever on so i mean you cannot say that so you could but you know that he was Pog Pog has gone through a lot of shit, you know, personal issues, a lot of personal uh, situations, you know, the situation with his brother and uh, the whole extortion of money, just and then uh, just a lot of unfortunate stuff that happened to Pog Boba in his career that just made, I think he, the, his personal issues that he had around his life is what made him, you know, drop a bit inside the pitch which caused you know injuries and just inconsistent performances throughout the throughout the uh, you know throughout the years at Manchester United to commit yourself to a sport then you will not come out with the fruits of your labor despite having the ability history will not look well on you and then of course there's the obvious reasonable side of it which is Ermi's um, one of the greatest midfielders to ever play the game Completely reasonable, really. Just what is it? Well, yeah, well, you could say in terms of, like, his technique, just, yeah, you could say when he was at his best, he was literally one of the best midfielders in the world. At his best, 100%. So this statement right here is not wrong. So I don't know what uh, Viz is talking about here, but... But it's true. Completely reasonable. When he wasn't at his best, for sure. Your thoughts on Paul Pogba, him as a player. Look at him, beautiful. Career. What kind a player. Because for me, it's quite emotional. When I remember looking back on when he first Ooh. signed for Manchester United back in 2016, it was a revolutionary moment. One of the biggest moments, biggest signings in Premier League history. The only way I can see this ever being outdone is if Kylian Mbappe goes to Manchester United. I would consider Pogba bigger than when Ronaldo went back because it felt like the new era. Jose Mourinho. I mean, yeah, it makes sense because Ronaldo was already, you know, he was 36, 37 by the time he joined United. So he was already, you know, 
uh, on the way down. While Pogba was still a young player, he was the only trajectory that a lot of people figured was just going up. I mean, yeah. Ibrahimovic, you got legends with experience and knows how to win trophies. Manchester United felt like they were back. Hashtag Pogback Stormzy on the mic with a lovely introduction with Paul Pogba and yeah. coming straight off the back of what was a great Euro campaign for him, of course, sadly losing in the final. But Paul Pogba had a marvelous campaign for Juventus. And it had everything. It had not only the ability here and now, not only did he have the personality, the brand that matched a club, the stature of Manchester United, but also at the very same time, it had the storyline. A young player that was at the academy, that was let go by Sir Alex Ferguson, deemed not good enough to only go out to the world and find his own way back to his home, so to say. It had everything. So what on earth happened? Tell me your thoughts. Like, subscribe. All that good stuff. And of course, Mozilla Designs, the best football prints, my own design company. Thank you all so much for support. We actually have hit 10,000 orders on the site a couple of days ago. So that's insanity. So thank you, thank you so much for that. And yeah, code Pogba for 20% off as we've just hit 10,000 orders. What the hell is this? So thank you very much for that. And let's get into it september 2023 look let me talk about a little bit about paul pogba so there was um pogba when he on his i forgot his first team but his french team that he used to be in before he joined united there was uh they're saying that he left without saying goodbye without saying anything right and so the club did not like that the thing that Paul Pogba did to them and then when uh, Paul Pogba left United for Juventus the first time he did exactly the same thing that he did to his previous club he he um he didn't inform I guess the team didn't inform that he was gonna he wasn't renewing he was gonna leave to Juventus so he left exactly the same way to Juventus that he did when he uh when he joined United the first time so yeah there's you know there's a little pattern of uh unloyalty as you can say because at least have you know the nuts to go over there and say i'm out you know a 2-0 win away for juventus winning 2-0 at empoli and paul pogba was a bit concerned after a substitute performance after having a long period on the sidelines of an injury he felt something pop up again. When yep. Pogba moved to Juventus, he already picked up an injury in his left knee. It was like I'm point. telling you, he just wasn't the same player. And I do believe this is why. This is why probably Pogba was, was caught doing, um, you know, performing casting drugs in order to uh, probably help his injury um, to heal faster or just to help his injury. Because I guess you know he's injury prone at this point of his career and he just wanted to get back on the pitch you know i guess that drive of him just wanting to be in that pitch wanting to play you know really made him do decisions that probably he didn't think clearly when he made those decisions and um yeah that's what i believe neymar has as well that was the last time we've seen paul pogba on the pitch playing football was six months ago. However, only a week later, after the game against Empoli, Paul Pogba also came through with a adverse reaction, an adverse result of a anti-doping control sample in Juve's season opener against Udinese, in which he was on the bench. Now, the reason I'm going into this is because everyone knows about the four years and the story around Pogba, but no one actually really knows about what actually happened. What's this doping case? What actually happened here? So I think it is important to get this out. Non-indigenous metabolites was found in his system. Basically, uh, things in his system that typically wouldn't be there or created by the body itself. This substance was in question called DHEA. Mm -hmm. It's a long word. I'm okay, not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's a substance which is banned. Due to this, he has been suspended by oh. Juventus ever since mm. that injury against Empoli. Therefore, he can no longer go to the Juventus medical facility or work out with his teammates 
ever since September. Now, the story on Paul Pogba's side is that he never knowingly or deliberately took this substance. He never had any idea that this was in his system in the first place, and he was taking anything that even had this. DHEA is a steroid, basically. Hmm. It's a steroid that's in your system. What does it do? It naturally boosts your testosterone production. This has been... And I'm pretty sure that's why boosting his testosterone, uh, I think a way to heal his injury faster could be. It's kind of like, you know, what Conor McGregor did, you know, when uh, Conor McGregor broke his leg in that fight with Dusty Poirier. Um, you know, he, he had a, they put him steroids in his system so his, uh, his injury could heal faster. And in doing that, you know, Conor McGregor gained a massive mass of muscle he just you know grew in muscle due to that uh performing as in drug but it also helped him with his injury a lot faster so yeah being found to be abused in the past by athletes in a variety of sports as it is effective in muscle building and strength just basically like a typical steroid that you would think of you take steroids you typically gain lots of mass Paul Pogba was offered a plea deal of two years or so plea deal means that if he accepts that he took it and that he basically finds himself guilty of taking it then it'd be a two-year ban they didn't take it and they continued onwards with this case what has Paul Pogba said I've not heard of this yet well this is what he said about this conclusion Pogba and I quote, called the decision incorrect and described himself as sad, shocked and heartbroken that everything I have built in my professional career has been taken away from me because he will no longer be I mean, look, man, you can't, you, there's only one person to blame, man, and that's Paul Pogba, man, you know, it just, we understand that his injuries and everything and he wanted to come back and play but you know he took something that you shouldn't have taken you know as simple as that man playing football until the age of 35 if this four-year ban does maintain now of course this will be appealed no. and i'll be very surprised yeah. if it does last to four years it could be 18 months it could be two years it's very rare that i think it does maintain like this this is obviously not the first bit of News Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is why um, Pog Pogba could be why he, um, you know, why his his performance is dipped, you know, because of stuff like this. When you can't play and stay focused on the game in each game. While there's stuff like this going in the background, it's like, you know, you just can't do it, man. One large story was an attempt of extortion, which led to the arrest of five people, including his own brother, Mateus, who was released afterwards. Pogba came out saying that money changes people. It can break a family, it can create a war, and sometimes I just find myself thinking, yep. I don't want to have money anymore. I don't want to play anymore. I just want to be a normal person. And it's really hard yeah. to this not feeling sympathy for Paul Pogba. Despite whatever you feel about him in terms of how he's dealt with his career and his personality, and maybe you don't think he works hard enough to really take advantage of the clear ability and talent that he has, which is beyond the wider streams of many, yeah. many footballers out there. He is still a human, and for anyone to kind of have their career peter out in the way that it has in the last three, four, five years is sad to see no matter what side of it you are and you may say well that's because of his own fault many will say that Paul Pogba has wasted his talent and his career many people may counter and say that he's achieved more than what many players will in their lifetimes at the highest level of the game exactly where would you rank him I don't exactly know oh that really, goal beautiful legacy, not even in the thought process for me for even being top 50 best midfielders then never mind being top three I'm seeing some conversations online about comparing I mean bro you can't wait what did he say? Let's go legacy. back. Not really where would you rank him? I don't exactly know. I mean, bro, I rank him pretty highly, bro. Even though, bro, he won league titles with Juventus. He's won a World Cup. He's performed in two different World Cups. And performed to the best in both World Cups that he did. You know? And we're talking about the 2014 and 2018 World Cup. Those two World Cups, he played phenomenal. And he won a World Cup in the 2018. One. And he scored a final in the goal in the final, bro. So you cannot say that. I mean, for your opinion, maybe for his opinion, he's 
no top 50 top come on bro he's literally maybe also he's top t fucking 15 bro top 20 talking about midfielders i'll put him top 15 top 20 his look how good he was technically and he even he had the mindset at some point in his career you know but after the whole you know situation of his you know his the injuries and then uh, his family situation you know basically dipped down but it was up there once and when he was up there he was a fucking phenomenal beast man he had just look at it, he had great passing great shooting the way he dribbled with the ball he glided into the midfield he was just a great player it's just unfortunate that you know he was put in a system that didn't you know that didn't benefit him you know he was playing as a deep line midfielder when he should have been playing more up front you know they were playing him as a six when he should be playing as an eight man it just makes no sense the way um the way they just mismanaged him in some sort of degree really, in terms of legacy it's not even in the thought process for me for even being top 50 best midfielders then never mind being top three i'm seeing some conversations online about and i like paul pogba but i don't like him that much but at the same time bro you gotta put fucking respect where paul pogba name is man top 15 bro Top fucking 15, mate. Comparing Paul Pogba and Kevin De Bruyne, and I don't even know how that's even possible, but apparently that's the case. Because yes, you may play the hypothetical man argument when hypothetical man is a great meme, which I think is quite accurate to Paul Pogba. I put... Mm. That what if on his day. Winning the UCL, bro. R9 didn't win the fucking World Cup. Ronaldo, R, no, no World Cup. Fuck. R9, El Fenomeno, Ronaldo, the old G Ronaldo did not win the Champions League. He did not. I don't think he won the Champions League. The uh, Slatan didn't win it either. But we're talking about Ronaldo, the R9, the Brazilian Ronaldo. I don't think he won the fucking Champions League. And is he considered to be one of the best strikers in the fucking world? Hell yeah, he is, man. Hell yeah. 100%. Great meme, which I think is quite accurate to Paul Pogba. He, uh, Ronaldo won a World Cup just like Pogba. Um, won league titles just like Pogba. You know? It's just a lot of people, I don't, just don't know what's, well, some people just like to, I don't know, man. It's just some people don't like some players for some reason, man. But give him his flowers, man. That's what if on his day. This type of jargon is thrown out a lot regarding Paul Pogba, and it is uh, funny to see. He, he is that. He is on his day. He is what if. And yes, on his day, Paul Pogba is one of the greatest midfielders potentially in the last decade or so. We cannot forget the conversations, the dialogue that people had for many a time at Man United for six years almost. Look at that shit. Unlock Paul Pogba, Let's look at him. For many a time a or so. We cannot forget the conversations, the dialogue that people had for many a time. Yeah, look at that. See this? How he played. He played with somebody in uh, sitting in, a, in the DM position role, and he's over here on this area. This is what Pogba does, man. But they kept putting him. They kept putting him in here next to Fellaini in a fucking DM role when he he was supposed to tackle and stuff like that, and he wasn't able to go where he loves to go six years almost of how you know do you unlock Paul Pogba? how do you unlock Paul Pogba that is what we heard for genuinely five to six years and people now that he's left United now want to look back on only the good times and which was there there were some great moments and great performances of course within that six year period they want to forget about everything else and all the frustration that came along with it and that's just how nos nostalgia works that's that is just common what you find it does go without saying that to be one of the greatest midfielders of all time or even top 50 you don't need another midfielder alongside you to unlock you you just do it it's in your nature you make the players around you better you elevate them do it bro does, that's just how it's let there. me go back it's because ball. dude they were trying to pull so you're saying that Pog Pogba should should play on a on a role on a position that he normally doesn't play at all that like his skill set does not 
have his skills his skill set does not say that he's a great tackler that he's a great player at breaking up play that's what i don't know why that's what united put him on i just don't know why why they put him in that position man like he's supposed to be up front a little bit more up front you know helping out with the attack that's what he should have done bro but like i'm saying they didn't put him in his position it's not that he could play better with somebody else. He just put him in a good position and just put a DM in the fucking middle. All right? doesn't matter who it is. Just put a DM in there and that's it. Some players just need to play in their, in their fucking... Not every player can play in every position, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just got tired of, you know, just because you play here, you could play everywhere. No, man. Some players play in certain positions, and some other players can play in a lot of positions. There's two type of players, you know. So, man, yeah. It does go without saying that to be one of the greatest midfielders of all time, or even top 50, you don't need another midfielder alongside you to unlock you. You just do it. It's in your nature. You make the players around you better. You but like I said, he needed somebody else to play on the role. That he don't didn't want to play with, so he could you know do his thing. But like I said, they did not do it. They kept putting Pogba in the fucking DM with Fellaini or with somebody else, man. Elevate them to your level. You help them alongside it. And Paul Pogba, of course, had some great moments, but he also had some incredible lulls. And the frustration within the fan base is. You can still see it to this every day. The idea of player power culture at Man United has been stepped down since Ten Hag came in. However, Paul Pogba has always seen to be bigger than the club and always been seen as the, lo the loudest voice within the club as well. That can really dictate the power of who stays and who goes. And that is now fading away, which I think is a good thing. It didn't take too long before the United fans really started to feel a great sense of almost apathy to Paul Pogba that it felt like he didn't really take the club seriously he didn't really take his, his situation seriously Ooh, like he's look just at that kind of around beautiful more about the brand and about everything outside of on the pitch than what you meant to do on it and that again people forget now because it's back in a couple of years ago but that was the main conversation for all those years it does go without saying Paul Pogba talent wise ability wise his passing range is one of his most marvelous qualities and i think this is different ways of technique in terms of how to do that is remarkable and is elite level and he's got all the other qualities too he's also got the nature to take on a beautiful man, a shoulder, a shoulder bit of flair to be also a against city to have that ability to really look at him he's so feet, good which is something that you cannot teach in football you're born with that however the main issue was <laughs> work ethic well the main issue was his mindset on the pitch and how he comes across his body language this is epitomized by his last manchester united game man united played liverpool at anfield in april when he withdrew from the game hobbling of the pitch after just 10 minutes and in the way end they barely responded there was, wasn't many many claps and that is kind of symbolic of the way that it ended with him at Manchester United. I think across the entire six years, Paul Pogba's position was always kind of um, confusing. Sometimes he played like a left winger, then he was a number 10, then a number 8, then he was like... Even yeah, th that's a problem, bro. They just put him in different positions. No one really knew exactly what his best role was, and therefore the conversation of who do we get to unlock him came through. He should have been one of the greatest. He should have been one of the greatest in at least the It's good people, a lot of people that ask these questions just don't know Bob, bro. Where does Pogba Pog play? In the midfield, yes. He does not play a fucking six. He does not play a fucking winger. He plays as, as an eight. Last. That's why he plays as an eight. Sadly, it didn't work out that way. And he will be always seen as a what-if player. Even if he comes back in two years' time, if the... Four years is cut in half. Where would he be going at the age of 33? Well, my friend, welcome to Saudi Arabia. I don't feel great about <laughs> happiness doing this because I really, really like him in terms of how he plays football. I think he's so unique and what he offers is something that I've not seen for quite a while. So it's a real shame. So that's the video. I'll see you next time.
Yeah, so there you go. Pog Pogba and uh yeah, man, the situation is sad for Pogba, but hopefully, you know, you know. I don't know. But anyways, let me know what what, what you think about Pog Pogba and that. Uh, yeah, man.